At the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport are now asking the state for more money to keep up with repairs on its busy roads. Major cargo hubs are doing more business out of CVG and if the roads don't get fixed, your packages might be late. Here's Alexa Helwig. Every year, millions of people pack in and out of the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. This airport serves more local passengers today than it ever has in the 70 year history of the airport. CEO Candace McGraw is taking this business to new heights. More than 90% of people traveling out of CVG are from the greater Cincinnati area. All of those people um, have, you know, have transportation and be it they take, you know, um, their own personal car or public transportation, Uber, Lyft, whatever that may be. And so we have to accommodate all of that on our roads. Mineola Pike and Donaldson Highway are two roads that McGraw says need to stay maintained. It's the business at the airport that passengers don't see that's causing a lot of problems. Amazon and DHL move millions of packages from these runways. Most of that traffic or most of the, the operations are plane to plane, but there's a lot of trucks that'll bring in um, goods to those facilities as well. And those goods need to get in and out of the airport fast. That's why investing in infrastructure is also a way to grow the economy. You know, the airport has a $4.4 billion economic impact annually on this community. State Representative Sal Santoro is impressed by the growth of CVG. He's working to get funding locked down. We're planning ahead uh, with the Department of Transportation to uh, expand these roads uh, and to be able to move this freight and uh, passengers in and out. He says state lawmakers need to raise the gas tax in order to get these projects done. This is just not Boone County, Northern Kentucky. This is greater Cincinnati. Everyone is going to benefit from this. In Erlanger, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Representative Santoro says the plan is to expand roads around the airport over the next two years.